Corona machines have a wonderful little device called a Pattern Master. In this video, I show you how to use it to create tuck lace. Exciting moment on the Corona. Look at this punch card device. It's sort of automatic, but we have to help it, but it is extremely cool. It turns out that my cards did not match my device perfectly, so my husband has renumbered the card positions, and we will ignore 12 because I don't have a 12-stitch repeat possibility. My instructions are here and here. These are the settings that we need to set the carriage at before we begin. A over here and on the other one. The tuck button to T. Seven, seven, and seven are the positions of this knob, this knob, and the kind of ruler we need. We need the one through seven ruler. This is the left and right number one, number two levers, and it should be set to one. That's what this is telling us. And this is the fabric we're going to get. First, we've moved some numbers, I mean some stitches, off of their needles and placed the stitches out of work, the needles out of work, that is. These instructions are on the card in a place that doesn't show up in the windows right now. I'll try to show you later. This is telling us that before we begin, we need to push needle four back and knit across. Now it's still got another instruction for us. It's advanced by flicking back and forth here. We still put needle fours in position. And remember with this machine, every time I select needle four here, every needle four all the way across will be selected. Watch. One more time, we need to select needle four. And what's happening with the stitches is you can see them building up on the needles. Ah, there's a focus. See all the needle fours? They're tucking. We're going to do that one more time, which seems like a lot. But the machine is okay with it. Still needle four. And now we change. Needles two and six go back. Be precise with your positioning. You don't want to confuse the machine. You can see all our tucks, which tucks are loops of yarn built up on a needle. Getting across. Checking our punch card. Well, it's not really a punch card, is it? Our card. Two and six again. Keep sure everything else in the correct place. Knit across. And now you can see that all the needles two and six have three loops on them. One is the original stitch, and the two other loops are from the two times we selected them to tuck. Now we get a new message, a red bar all the way across, which tells us to do that and the card drops back down so we can repeat. Let's do it one more time faster. Four, four, oops I really should have picked this one. I don't think it'll hurt that there's an extra one back. Did it work? Yes it did. One more time, four, One last time, four. Two and six. Whoops, that's seven. There we go. Got to be careful. Two 
two and six. There's six. There's two. And it across. And you can see this delicious, easy peasy lace developing. This will make a great summer blouse. What I'm actually making here is a hat, or I hope I am. But you can see the possibilities are endless. This is called tuck lace, by the way. It wasn't invented just by the Corona Company, because I've done it on lots of machines, and it's a lot of fun. Give you a wider view. But this is a nifty way to do it, for sure. This is the area of the card that explains to you what to do before you begin knitting.